Hey, what's up YouTube? This year, we started building a brand new city. We started off with this, and we have ended the year with this. So, I thought that it would be fun to show you every single build that makes up the entire city. I have taken every single build that we have used in the city, I have arranged them in rows of 10 and we are going to look at every single one of them. By the way, every single build in this video has a separate tutorial that you can follow along to make it. Just check below in the description the mini city builds playlist. We have absolutely every single build that you see in the order that you're going to see them. By the way, let me know down in the comments which is your favourite build that I made this year. But without any further ado, the first build that I have to show you is the Mini McDonald's. Inside we have an order board, seating area, and of course the kitchen. We also have a drive through outside. Moving on, we have the small suburban house. This is one of the very few houses in the city. It was also the first. Inside we just have enough room for a bed little storage area, seating, and of course some bookshelves. But outside we do also have a little driveway where we can keep a car. Moving on down, we have the larger suburban house. So this would be at the end of my cul-de-sac, and we also have a large garage, another driveway with a car, and we, of course, have a giant garden with walls surrounding it. And inside, we just have so much more room. We have a living room with a closet underneath the stairs, a kitchen, dining area. If we come upstairs, we have a bedroom with an ensuite bathroom, with a shower, toilet, and sink. Next up, we have the school. So the school is really simple. There's not much outside the school, but inside is a bunch of desks, some bookshelves, this is the teacher's desk, a good old-fashioned chalkboard. We have some lockers, storage, and some coat hooks. There isn't really anything else to it. There probably should be a playground outside as well, but perhaps we'll make that with the next school. Next up, we have the mini mall. So inside the mini mall, we do have a lack of animal companions because I would have to name tag about 50 different mobs, but there should be a dog in here and some sort of aquatic creature in here. So we have a pet store, clothes store. This is a mini arcade. On the opposite side here, we have a mini flower store, book store, and this is meant to be a shoe store. And coming up onto the second floor, we have a food court on either side. And that is the Mini Mall. Very small, charming design, I think. I really love the Mini Mall. We also have the Nike store. So in the Nike store, we have a couple of armor stand, some shoe boxes, a place to sit down and try on some shoes. And we also have some clothes in the back. This is the till area, of course. And we also have, I really like these windows on the Next front. up, we have the mini playground. So the mini playground has a bunch of stuff. We have swings, we have a seesaw, we have a roundabout, we have monkey bars, and we just have a general sort of jungle gym slash playhouse, which I think I'm actually going to just hop on. So we just have to walk through here, and there we go. I, j I just can't resist a slide when I see one. I've just got to go down. Next up, we have the mini arcade. So inside the mini arcade, we have a basketball game. We have a couple of arcade machines. We have a claw machine. We have like a dancing game and we have some prizes. Next up, we have a grocery store. So we have some fresh produce on the outside, but inside we have some shelves and we have like a coffee machine, uh, a little bit of snacks. We have some miscellaneous things behind the counter and some flowers. Good old fashioned sort of general grocery store. Next up, we have a mini modern hotel. So I want to show you every single floor as they are identical, but this is the lobby. This is where you would check in or wait. And moving up onto the next floor here, this is how every single room is laid out. We have a bed, a bit of storage, some bookshelves, and we have a bathroom with a bath, toilet, and sink. 
Now that is actually it for the first row of builds. I have divided all of this year's mini city builds into rows of 10 and I want to show you all of them in order. So on row number two coming all the way back over to the left side we have the mini hospital. So in the hospital we have a lobby this is where you would wait to be seen. We also have some emergency supplies and a gurney. This is kind of like a diagnosis room. So this is where you would see your first initial hospital personnel who would tell you or refer you where to go. So you might end up on the first floor here, which is a ward, so in one of these beds. Or, depending upon how lucky or unlucky you are, you may end up on the top floor in the operating room. So in here, for instance, and we are missing item frames with different items in here to kind of add further detail, which is just an unfortunate fact of copy and pasting builds from my main design world. Some things do not get copy and pasted over, but if you are curious about how these builds are 100% supposed to look, then please do check out the main videos and you'll get the full flavor. We also have a mini ambulance. Next up, we have one of my favorites, the mini Lego store. So in here we just have the counter where you would purchase your Lego, all sorts of different blocks here, we have all sorts of different Lego sets in the form of bookshelves and all of these heads and stuff, just kind of like a fun store. I really like the design, it's so colourful, it generally is just like one of my favourite builds, I think it really does brighten up a street. Next up we have the mini farm. The mini farm has so many different parts, we have a truck, we have a tractor, we have some animal pens, we have the actual farm part, we have a pond, we have a barn, we have a chicken coop, this is the farmhouse itself, there's a little swing seat out here inside the farmhouse, we just have like a dining room, we have a kitchen, it just feels nice and homey in here, all sorts of different homey sorts of things. On the second story we have a bedroom and an ensuite bathroom, one of, again, one of my more interesting builds to add to a city I think. I think it really does kind of change the dynamic of a Minecraft world just to go from something really city based to have something a bit more rural. Kind of fun. Moving on to the next build we have a mini modern church. Really love this design. It's actually adapted from the villager church believe it or not. You might be able to see it if you take a look from the outside. We have a speaking area, some stained glass, we have some candles, and we have some seating. Very cool. And we also have, my favourite part for some reason, is the giant church bell up at the top. Next up, the mini gas station slash petrol station. Here are the petrol slash gas pumps, and this is the convenience store attached to it. And in here is just all of the things that one might expect to find in here. So drinks, food, that sort of stuff. Moving on down, no city is complete without a mini subway. So in here we have the counter space. This is where the sandwiches are prepared. We have the cooker, fridge, this is where drinks would be kept, we have some desserts, order boards, everything that you need for a mini Subway. By the way guys, what's your favourite Subway sandwich? I think that mine might be the Meatball Mariana. Moving on down, we have another favourite of mine, Ikea. We are also missing some shopping carts as well, but oh well. In here we have a bunch of different beds, we have some sofas, some different shelving designs, this is a dressing table, this is a cot for a baby, this is a, a bird cage, we have a fish tank, bath, toilet, TV, plan, mirror, some lighting, a nice little range of uh, furniture in our IKEA. More than you might expect from such a small building. Next up we have the mini cinema. So in the mini cinema we have a place to get some ice cream, we have a place to get some drinks and some popcorn, and we have the main screen, a big giant cinema screen, plenty of seating, we can even sit at the back here, some speakers, absolutely perfect. Again, I don't want to say this for every single one of them, but one of my favourites out of all of my builds that I've made for the Mini City. Next up, we have the Mini Adidas, or you may pronounce it Adidas. So we have, again, just this cool display window. These are my favourite parts of the clothes stores. And inside, again, just the mannequins. This is where we would keep the shoes. These are shoe boxes. These should have item frames with different boots in them. And, of course, the same sort of till area as we have with Nike. But just a very pleasant store. 
really nice to just add to your high street in your city. And last for this row, we have the mini fire station. Really, really simple. So this is the firehouse where we have equipment for the fire people. And in the garage, we actually have a fire truck. So it would be better if we could actually see this out in the open because you can actually climb on top of the fire truck. There is also like a ladder. There are things on the side to fight fires with. It's a really, really cool build. But again, check out the actual video for the fire station if you want to see more. Now that is it for that row of builds, which leads us on to row number three. This is a much longer walk than the previous walk, and the first build that we are greeted with on this row is the mini cafe. So inside the cafe, we have an order area, a cheeky bit of seating underneath the stairs, also some seating at the back here with a little canopy above one side, and upstairs, you will find that there is even more seating as well. Moving on down, we have the mini police station. So this is where somebody would be stationed in the police station. These are some of the cells. There should actually be a pig in one of these, funnily enough. And out the back here, we have three police vehicles. So this is a mini police car, which I'm very proud of. I really like that. We have a mini riot van and we have a mini police bike, which I also like a lot as well. This next build is absolutely massive. So we are going to fly around it. We have a car park on the left side of our beach. We have a bus station at the back. We also have an additional car park. Moving on to the beach, we have a bunch of beach huts, an ice cream stand, a hammock. We have a beach house with some surfboards and kind of a built-in hot tub into the ocean. Inside the beach house, there's not really too much going on here, just a little chill area to sleep, storage, and some cooking and crafting. We have a beach bar, kind of like a tiki bar. We have a sandcastle that kind of leads out into the beach. We've got some floaties in the water and just a surfboard. We have a little slide leading into the water. We have a lifeguard chair, beach volleyball, a chill out area. So this should, of course, be all carpeted out. We also have a beach picnic. We have a lighthouse. And of course, we have the water. It looks a little bit weird, kind of just like in the middle of this area, but very similar build coming up. We have the bank. So coming into the bank, this is where the cashier would be. So this is where you would withdraw your money from the actual cashier. We have ATMs. And we have a little mini vault as well. Moving on down, we have a theme park, which is another large build, so we will once again fly around it. We have a cup knockover game, an ice cream stand, some boat racing. We have a fishing game. We have a hot dog stand, basketball game. We have a shooting range game. We have a Ferris wheel. And we have a roller coaster, and the roller coaster does indeed work. And I'm kind of curious if this is loaded up with a minecart. It's not. That is a real shame. Oh, look, I found one. Oh, the, uh. The redstone torches are missing. <laughs> Well, you know what? Maybe it wasn't meant to be. That was anticlimactic. Moving on, we have a mini Burger King with a drive through order board, seating area, and of course, the kitchen. Next, we have Mini KFC, which of course, once again, has a drive through We have the kitchen, a bunch of seating, and of course, some order boards at the end. Next up, this might seem a little bit familiar. We have the bus stop that you saw at the beach earlier, but this time we also have the bus. So you can actually come inside of the bus and we have a seat and this is where the driver would be. But the cool part is that you can climb up on top of the bus as well and you can ride in the open top. Next, we have a mini Starbucks with some outside seating. And of course, this is where one would order their coffee or snack. 
and we have some indoor seating as well. Now, last but not least, for this row, we have Jump World, which is a trampoline park. In the trampoline park, we have a bunch of different trampolines. Oh, and we also have some Trampoline World socks that we have to wear if we want to enjoy these. So, all of these actually work and function as trampolines, so we can hop up on here... We can climb up on here and jump on any one of these four trampolines. And then we also have this kind of like ball pit or foam pit that we can jump into. And we have a couple of these. Really, really fun. I really, really like the mini trampoline park. Awesome build to have in the city. Moving on to the fourth row of city builds now. These, <laughs> these rows seem to get further and further apart. This is crazy. The first build on the fourth row is the Apple Store. We have a nice, open, clean, modern store with four benches filled with iPhones. And you know what? No one's here. I think I might actually take one of these for myself. Going to stick that there for safekeeping. Moving on, we have the mini water park. The mini water park is really cool. So we have a kid's pool, which has a playhouse and a little mini water slide. And you guys know me, if I see a water slide, I've just got to give it a go. Not bad. So we also have a lounging area and a lifeguard chair. We have the main pool with two diving boards. And you know what? Why don't we give the larger diving board a go? Pretty good. We have a smaller water slide. Not bad. And we have a much larger bowl-shaped water slide, which I'm just going to fly to the top of here, because otherwise it will take too long to get to. This is pretty cool. So you go down that little mini water slide, and then you fall into the bowl and through, and then down this much steeper slide into the main pool. This is That's pretty fun. Moving on down, we have another large build, the campsite. So the campsite has a lake with a pier that we could attach a boat to, a fishing area. We also have the campsite itself. So we have a campfire, a large tent, a small tent, an RV with a seating area outside and a little barbecue. But you can also come inside the RV and we have a little mini bedroom, a toilet slash bathroom, the driver's seat, of course. And we also have a picnic bench we also have a car towing a small caravan as well which we can sleep inside of and we also have just like a little washing line set up and a little picnic area really fun next up we have a butcher's shop so out from we have an advertisement board and inside the store we have different meats at the front counter and in the back, we have some cold storage with a campfire for a cool chill effect as well, with some hanging meats and some hooks. Next up, we have the Empire State Building, but a mini version. We also don't have an interior for this, but this is just a really cool build to have kind of in the skyline of your city. Next up, we have a burger shack. So this burger shack is best place like along a beach or in a theme park or something like that. We can just sit outside and enjoy a burger or some fries or maybe even a bit of cake and a drink. Next up, we have 7-Eleven. So outside here, we have some car parking spaces, an ATM. Inside, we have some shelves, freezer, a place to get some bread and cake, some produce, drinks, a little bit of hot food, some toys, a nice little mishmash of everything, really. Really fun build to add to the city. Next up, some stairs. No, I'm just playing. So walking down these, we actually have, again, another one of my favorite builds, the subway station. So we have ticket dispensers, we have seating to wait for the train, and we can even board the train as well. So we have a bunch of different carts that we can sit in, 
and we also have the train driver area as well so really really cool build and really easy to make surprisingly the hardest part is actually digging a giant hole for this place to live next up we have a mini taco bell so on this occasion we don't actually have a drive through which is surprising but we have a couple of different kinds of seating in here a place to order our taco bell and of course the kitchen and some advertisements as well last up on this row we have the mini bakery so the mini bakery has an outdoor advertisement board, just as the mini butcher shop does, but inside we have a bunch of different goodies. So we have cake, cookies, pie, a drinks machine, bakery ovens, and more importantly, a question. A very important question. Cake or pie? Which is better? I'm gonna go with cake. Moving on to row number five, we have another extraordinarily long walk ahead of us. The first build on row number five is also our first modern house. This is our small modern house, which is used to populate our modern suburbs. We have a bed, crafting table, furnace, and some bookshelves, but we also have a driveway for a car and a pool in the back. Next, we have a modern townhouse. So this is a house with three levels. On the first floor, we have a living room. On the second floor, we have a kitchen slash dining room. And on the third floor, we have a bedroom slash bathroom. Next, we have a modern apartment building. So I'll only show you one floor as they are identical. We have a hallway here, which takes us up to each particular level. And at the end of each hallway, we have our entrance into the apartments, which have a living room slash dining room, a bathroom, and we're actually missing a bed, which is a little bit funny, but we have a balcony though, which I, I, I guess we'll sleep on. Next, we have another really cool build. We have a museum. The first and only museum that I have actually ever made on the channel, mini or regular size. We have a bunch of exhibits. We have a dinosaur. We have a prehistoric cave, Viking ship, pyramid, fancy painting, caveman we have this really fancy mysterious plant and we have this hmm i don't even know what this is do you guys get any sort of feelings of that? who knows what that could be next we have what is meant to be like a city hotel but it could also be an apartment building if you wanted to adapt it we have like a fire escape leading up to each particular floor in this version we have a lobby because of course it is meant to be a hotel but it could easily also be an apartment building and on every level we have access to each one of the rooms so a little bedroom here with a tv and some storage and also a bathroom slash slash nothing just a bathroom <laughs> what i like about this one is it's made out of really unique materials as well so it's like mangrove and mushroom and it's just really nice and earthy and interesting like it's a completely different vibe than a lot of my other builds next up we have our mini pet store which i believe will conveniently be out of pets yep well you know what good news everybody all of the pets found a home but we would have a dog or a cat in here a fox in here, rabbits in here, dog and or cat in here, this is for birds, and we have a bunch of fish tanks across the back. It's actually a really cool mini pet store. Next up, we have another one of my favourites. This is a train station, so as I like to think of it, an above ground subway. We have ticket machines and also places to wait for the train, but we do of course also have the train which has all sorts of different seats in the different carriages and also a place to operate the train as well. Next up, we have a good old fashioned pizzeria. So not only do we have a pizzeria and a place to sit outside, but we also have a moped as well, which is really cool so that we can deliver the pizzas. But inside we just have a place that we can order our pizza and for it to be cooked and our drinks and all sorts of fun stuff like that. There should be stuff on the walls and like pizza boxes, but what, you, you know, well done. Moving on down, we have a post office with a post box, 
and a post van. And if we come inside here, we have a place for the workers and all sorts of things that we can buy in these bookshelves. We can even post parcels and packages. And if we move back here, we have a little warehouse as well and a garage. So this would actually lead to our post van. Very, very cool. I, I really, really like this build. Next up, this is a little bit of a weird one. We have an entire canal featuring a canal boat. So the canal itself is, of course, the water area with the bridge and all of the fencing around. But we can also climb down here. And we have like a little life preserver and we have some fish and creature catching implements. But we also have a little houseboat as well. So on the houseboat we have a bed, crafting table, furnace, chest, all sorts of fun stuff. Again, I, I really am almost sick of saying this. It's one of my favorite builds. It really does help to completely transform the city from... Your good old standard city just filled with buildings and it helps to completely just divert it in a different direction. Very cool build to add. Moving on to our next row of builds. I'm starting to feel as though that these walks are purposefully getting longer and longer. First up, coincidentally, we have another modern house at the start of our row. So this is the larger version of our modern house, the gem of the modern suburbs. In the back, we have a large pool, and we also have a back door, so why not use it? Oh, we also have a car port as well, so a car would go underneath this overhang. But coming through the back here, we have a dining room table, a place to put our armor slash coats and jackets, do you, guys, do you guys also call your clothes armor? Ah, oh, maybe just me. So we also have a kitchen, a living room. There's meant to be a TV here. Upstairs, we have a hallway with a bedroom and an ensuite bathroom. Oh, and not to mention this really cool balcony as well. Next, we have a taco stand. I, that's, that's kind of all there is to it. Moving on, we have a car wash. So the car wash has an indoor component, as you can see, but we also have an outdoor component where we can hand wash the car and we have all sorts of tire pressure gauges and power washers and what have you. Or we have the automated car wash itself so we can drive through here, select what we want and then drive it through here and it gets sprayed with all sorts of water and foam and all of that stuff. And, and am I the only one that gets tempted to leave the car when I'm in a car wash? I can't be the only one. What even happened? Next up, we have another smaller build. We have an ice cream stand. Anyway, moving on down, we have a pizza hut. Such a wonderful building. I love this pizza hut. So we have a bunch of car parking spaces out front. And inside, we have a bunch of tables on both sides. And of course, this is where we would order and cook our pizza as well. I just really love how this pizza hut looks. I feel as though that I really captured the whole feel of the actual restaurant. One of my favorites. Next up, we have a library. So this is a bit on the larger side for Mini City. But inside here, we actually go down into the library, which is a little bit weird. We have a bunch of different desks and lamps and research areas and just heaps and heaps and heaps of books. I really like the design of this library. Like, I like that we go down to go up. We've got books hidden. I just really like it. I think it feels really cool in here. Next up, we have one of the largest builds in our city. We have a football slash soccer stadium. This thing is absolutely massive. I think that you guys can see we have a bunch of different stands. We have the pitch in the middle. We have the ball. We have a bunch of screens everywhere. Very, very cool. I really, really loved designing and making this. And it's not that difficult to make either. It's, it looks harder than it actually is to make. Next up, we have a spooky, scary build. This would preferably be conjoined with the church, but we have a graveyard. A bunch of different graves decorated with a bunch of different things. We have a little spooky tree over here. We have, I want to say, mausoleum. Is that the right thing to say? With an open coffin in here with a skull in it. Kind of creepy. And a lit candle. Really, really cool build. I really like this one. And especially when it is placed next 
next to the church. Next, we have a Dunkin' Donuts. So this has a drive through and it also uniquely has some bike racks, which I really like as well, and some parking. And inside, of course, we have some places to sit and eat and drink our stuff. And of course, this is where we would order it and collect it from. Last up on this row, again, another one of my favourites, we have the Halloween store. Not only do I love the design of the overall store and all of the little spooky things that we have decorated around the outside, I love the hearse as well. The hearse is such a cool little build to add to the store as well. And if we come inside, like, I don't know, it just feels really cool in here. There's a bunch of different decorations, a bunch of different graves and things and like masks and stuff that we would wear, costumes. And it's just like a really interesting store. There should be brains in these jars, and just coffins. And it, it's just really, really cool. Like it's just got a really spooky vibe. I, I really, really like it in here. It's a very, it's probably one of my favorite stores, maybe the favorite. And with that, we are now able to move on to the next row. So we're now on row seven, and this is build number one. We have our town hall. Fun fact, this is heavily inspired from the Simpsons town hall. If you take a look, it's not a one-for-one -one recreation or anything, but this is where I got the idea for the shape and general sort of layout. We have some outside parking, some benches, some lamps, we have some bins as well, but inside, really, really simple, a bunch of seats, and a stage to speak at. What more could you need from a town hall? Next up, we have a bike store. So, I actually came up with this bike design completely by myself. I had a little bit of a look on Google to see if anybody could do it better, and it turns out that I made, in my eyes, a perfect looking Minecraft bike. It doesn't involve armor stands or anything. It's so incredibly simple, and yet the, the reception for this was incredibly underwhelming, and I was so happy with myself when I did it. It was, it was a little upsetting. But regardless, I still think that this is an awesome design for a bike and thus I made a bike shop. And in the bike shop we have every single colour bike that you can possibly make, barring any sort of mishmash combinations. These are all of the standard ones. Very, very happy with this. I wish that more people liked my bike. Next up, we have our donut store. This is a place that says what it does and does what it says. In here, we have a place to buy our donuts and we have a place to eat our donuts. The end. Next up, we have our modern Wendy's. I actually really like the design of this, particularly from this angle. Very cool. So we have a drive through a couple of car parking spots, and a nice modern design. And inside, it's just incredibly simple. Order here, eat here, done. Next up, we have another sort of unique build. This is a daycare. So inside the daycare, we have a bunch of fun stuff. We have a place to take some naps. We have like just like balloons and colorful stuff all about the place. We have like a little mine cart track. We have just a colorful play mat and all sorts of just toys and coloring apparatus and all sorts of fun things on the inside here. And on the outside, we have a car parking spot but we also have a playground with some swings seesaw sandpit and a little playhouse very very cool another build that i was completely surprised at the lack of reception for anyway moving along we have at mike myers house from halloween very very difficult to actually find what this looks like precisely I, I think that i did a very very good job at recreating the outside at least this is more of a fun easter egg house the interior hasn't been made but it's it's pretty spot on from the outside really happy with that speaking of other builds that i am happy with and you guys seemed to like as a whole as well this is freddy fazbear's pizza this thing is absolutely massive very cool looks almost identical to the actual, at the very least, movie version of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. No interior because it wouldn't fit without making this absolutely massive, but really, really cool. I love having this in my city. Next up, we have another new one for me. This is a boxing arena. We have a bunch of car parking space outside. We have 
popcorn stands and traditionally I'd have ice cream stands dotted around. We have big screens promoting whatever is being shown. There's actually a painting which goes on here perfectly. There we go. Is there a better painting to promote a boxing arena than that? And on the inside, we have a bunch of seating and more importantly, a boxing arena in the center. Did I say the word boxing enough while showcasing this build? Next up, we have this really cute ice cream parlor. So not only do we have this outside part of the parlor where we can just sit and eat our ice cream and we have a bunch of options here, but we can also come inside and we've got some indoor seating and and again, another area to buy some ice cream. I just really like the color scheme and overall vibe, and I like the indoor outside nature of it. It's really cool. Now, last on this row is Chick-fil-A. Unfortunately, we don't have one of these in the UK. I would love to try it because I have heard nothing but good things. We have a drive through area, some car parking spaces, and inside here, a bunch of seating. This is where we get our chicken. Fantastic. Moving on to one of the final rows. This is going to be row number eight. First of all, on this row, we have Bluey's house from the show Bluey. I think that I managed to capture a huge amount of detail for the house, which is not common with cartoon houses. A lot of the time, you aren't able to find the house from every single angle possible, but I actually think that I managed to almost perfectly capture it, question mark, in this particular case. What do you guys think? Did I do a good job? I hope so. Next up, we have a modern skyscraper, which is a really cool build because not only is it adaptable, meaning it can be an office building or it could be an apartment building or just a, any sort of building in general. You could have a bunch of different businesses in here, but you can make it as tall as you like and you can also change the color, which is really, really cool. So this one is an office building. It's really, really simple. We have a lobby down here and on every single floor, once we climb about 50 sets of stairs, we have this on every single level, a bunch of computers and a little water cooler slash chill out area. Really, really nice, really simple to make. I'd show you the rest of the floors, but they are identical to the others. Something very unique, however, is my aquarium. I absolutely love this build. So the aquarium has a bunch of car park spaces out front. We have a place to get tickets here and inside the actual the, the, the actual compound that is the aquarium, we have a giant display area for fish. We don't have any fish in this because they haven't been spawned in, but we have a bunch of different display cases along the back of the aquarium area. We have a place for a sea turtle. We have a bunch of different aquatic plants on display as well. We have a playground with swings, a slide, seesaw, a sand pit, but we also have a dolphin show area as well. So there would be dolphins in here and they jump that hoop and it's just really, really cool. And there would be a bunch of villagers in this stand. It's, it's one of my favorite builds. I know I've said that a bunch of different times, but it's legitimately really, really cool and unique build for the city. Next up, we have a small car dealership. So this car dealership sells three different cars, a regular car, a truck, and kind of like an open top or a convertible or a more sporty car. And inside, we just have a few different display models and a place that we can actually purchase that car. Moving on down, we have something that is a little bit more unique. We have a steam train on a bridge. And in the tutorial, I'll also show you how to make a tunnel as well. This is more of a decorative piece for your city. It's just a really cool old fashioned steam train that we can shovel coal into. And we have to have like, have these little fuel carts that are attached to the train as well. And we have these carriages here that we can't really get into. And it's, it's just a really, really cool build to having kind of like the periphery of your city, just kind of like off in the distance. Really, really like this. Next up, we might have our very first supermarket, I think. I think that the first and only supermarket that I've made is Aldi. So we have a bunch of car parking spaces out front, some trolleys or shopping carts, some bins, bollards. We have what I like to call the airlock at a supermarket. And in here, we just have a, a bunch of different stuff, a bunch of different produce, a bunch of different bookshelves filled with things. These should all be full, but it's kind of cool that half of them are kind of like empty. And we have a till area. I really, really like this. It's such a clean layout for a supermarket. 
I've got another unique one for you. We have a holiday caravan park. So I'm not sure if this is just a UK thing or maybe a particular class thing or what have you, but I spent many of my childhood and sometimes some of my adulthood at a holiday caravan park. So we have a bunch of different holiday homes, caravans, that have driveways and inside we have like living rooms, kitchen slash dining areas, we have like little hot tubs on deckings and we have bedrooms and bathrooms all packaged into a lodge, air quotes, or holiday home, air quotes, translation, caravan. So we have a bunch of these and on this site would typically be like site entertainment as well, like a club and an arcade sometimes, and sometimes even like all sorts of fun things like spas and like water parks. But on this one, it is also a campsite as well. So we have like block showers and we have some toilets as well. And we also have a place that we can camp and we also have a playground too. So I really, really love this build. And I actually was planning on making like a bigger version of this with the arcade. And you'd usually have like fast food, like chip shops and stuff in the UK at least. And you know, Burger Kings and things like that. But the build didn't do very well. So I don't really plan on making a bigger one. Which is a shame because I actually really like these. And it's very relatable. I spent so much of my of my childhood holidays in places exactly like that. Next up, we have the prison. So this rivals the largest build in Mini City. First of all, we have a security office, which is uh, unmanned. Uh, not doing a particularly great job here at the prison. I, I guess the prisoners can just wander out if they like, but we have a, for lack of a better term, reception area. So this is like a metal detector. This is where everything would get like checked. This is where you would collect your uniform. This is cell block A, bunch of cells. There are a bunch of solitary confinement cells as well. And in almost every single part of the prison, there is a unique room as well. So this would be a guard room with a bunch of security and you can see into cell block B. And if we come out here into cell block B, we've got to come through this like in between area first, which also leads outside. In cell block B, in the upper area, we have access to the cafeteria, which is a little bit drab. Probably wouldn't be like a five-star restaurant in a prison, though. We also have access to the showers. And moving through, finally, we have the final cell block, which is, well, just a bunch of cells. Moving outside, however, we have a basketball court a general sort of field area, and we have a bunch of guard towers, and you can see that we have faux guards in the towers, but you can actually enter these and climb up them, which is pretty cool. Next, we have moved on from Bluey's house, and we have went back in time to the Blue's Clues house. So, inside the Blue's Clues house, I've tried to recreate as much as possible. Very, very difficult. Again, cartoon houses... The outside is hard enough, the inside is almost impossible, but I've done a pretty decent job, I think. So this is like the living room. We have a bunch of different things from the show in the living room. This is the kitchen. I should mention that I've also made the back garden as well. There's not too much here, but there should also be a shovel as well. Upstairs, we have a bedroom and also a bathroom as well. Now, finally for this row, we have Grinch Mountain. It's actually not called Grinch Mountain. There is, there is actually a name for it. I've got to Google it now. It's called Mount Crumpet. I would have never have remembered that. That is insane. Well, atop Mount Crumpet, we have the Grinch's house. So the Grinch's house has a sled, which is typically pulled by Max the dog, filled with stolen presents and trees. And inside the Grinch's cave, we have a bunch of no entry, no Xmas. This is a little doggy door for Max. There's like go away, warning, Grinch. It's just really fun signs around the place. And this is actually decorated in the form of an 
a, a, a B and B that you can actually stay in in real life that is modelled kind of after the Grinch Cave. So feel free to give that one a Google. IRL Grinch Cave. You can actually stay there for a very small amount of money per night. I believe it's in Arizona in the US. Not 100% certain, but it's, it's definitely worth a look, trust me. And uh, that is what this is modelled after, because it's actually uh, it's actually possible to sort of like recreate it as opposed to the actual Grinch Cave, which I don't know if you guys seen the movie. It's, it's just an absolute weird mess. And with that, we are able to move on to the final row of this world. Row number nine. The first build on row number 9 is a giant Christmas store that doesn't really fit the theme of Mini City, but I couldn't really make it any smaller. Outside, we have a bunch of different directions ranging from snowmen to Santa's sleigh and presents and candy canes and icicles and wreaths and a special Santa's snow box and just all sorts of fun things and even just in this area as well, we have a bunch of Christmas trees in all sorts of maturity and reindeer and snowmen and penguins and just different presents. And if we come through the actual entrance, we have a Christmas tree in the center with a train track around, more presents, just Christmas plants and different ornaments for the tree and just a fireplace and just all sorts of fun stuff just like dotted and littered around and toys and baubles and just a, a, just an explosion of Christmas in here. And then, last but not least, we have modern McDonald's. We have literally ended where we started with a McDonald's. So this has a drive through some car parking spaces, and inside we have a place where the food is cooked and we can pick it up from. This is where we would order it. We have a bunch of tables and, of course, a bathroom. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. I do hope that you have enjoyed this video. Please do remember that every single one of these builds that I have showed you does in fact have a tutorial, which you will be able to find down below in the description. Look for the Mini City Builds playlist. You will literally be able to make every single build that you've seen in the order that you've seen it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.